Hello, what is up Wix Nation? Welcome back to another video here on the Wix Training Academy channel. My name is Sarah Michaels and I will be your hostess for today's video where we are going to talk a little bit more specifically about long tail keywords and why you should be using them in your SEO strategy to boost your SEO score and also be able to get more of your target audience on your site so you can generate more leads and sales. If you have not yet already, be sure to go ahead and click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell as well so that you can get notified when a new video drops on the channel and in this series as we are bringing you all of the best tricks and tips to be able to optimize your Wix website, grow your business, and generate more leads and sales. Okay, so this video is actually um, part of a larger series here on the channel, which is the SEO series where we are helping you with your SEO strategy and um, yeah, so if you are just catching this video as the first one, please be aware that there are uh, one of the best places to start would be back at the beginning of the series, we did a couple of longer videos that really are going to give you more of the strategy behind it. And then the rest of the videos here on the channel, we are either um, following up with questions that you had about the series or we are unpacking specific like implementation tasks and showing you how to break it down on your site. So that's what these videos are and we would highly suggest starting back at video number one. Okay, so one of the questions that I had was regarding long tail keywords specifically. Now in a previous video, we showed you what the keywords were, how to find the keywords that were best for you, and also what some of the keyword software or the keyword tools or the planners would be and some of our favorite sites and apps to do that. Now in this video, we're just gonna talk specifically about long tail keywords. Now, when you are thinking about whatever your site is, a keyword is generally going to be that specific search term that is relating to your target audience. Whether that would be maybe you are a fitness coach or a personal trainer or a website designer. These are all examples of short tail keywords. Now, when you are developing the keyword strategy and going through the Wix SEO Wiz, you're able to put in three to five keywords for your Wix website. And we do suggest that you use a combination of short tail and long tail keywords. So a long tail keyword, so a short tail keyword, let me start there. A short tail keyword, for example, if you're a website designer would be Wix website designer. Now a short tail keyword can be no more than three words long. That is the definition of a short tail keyword. So a long tail keyword is anything four words or more. Now oftentimes long tail keywords are going to have a higher relevance to the target audience and they're also going to have a lower search volume. So I want to show, let me pull up um, one of these pages here had a really good example of that. Okay, so for example, let's take a look at this article right here on the SEMrush website, which is, has a great resources for SEO. Now you can see here that a short tail keyword would be tomato plants. Okay, now that's a short tail keyword. Now a long tail keyword would be when to plant tomatoes, tomato plants for sale, or why are tomato plants turning yellow? Now, maybe not relevant to your audience, but just so you can kind of see, the shorter tail keywords are going to have a more highly competitive search. Okay, so there's gonna be a whole lot more people that are searching for that. So if I were to go to Wix and type in, Wix website designer, or even more so if I were just to go to Wix or to go to Google, pardon me, and type in website designer, I am competing against Squarespace designers, WordPress designers, Wix designers, Weebly designers, anyone that's de designing on any of those platforms. So it's going to be a benefit to you and your business to be able to narrow down and come up with longer tail keywords. Another example would be 
Wix website designer. That is still technically classified as a short tail keyword because it's three words or under. Now, if I were to appeal, maybe I'm a Wix website designer and I want people to find me in a certain geographical area. I could create a long tail keyword by putting in Wix website designer in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, or Wix website designer in and whatever your state is. So if you are serving clients out of a brick and mortar business in a specific area, you can create a long tail keyword that's also relevant to your local audience by typing in or adding the name of the area that you serve along with your keyword of what your business is. And we do recommend that you pick the top priority keywords for your business so that it's relevant to your audience, okay? So that's what you would do for that. Now, if I were a, let's say I'm a fitness coach. Well, fitness coach is gonna have a lot of competition on there. So I want to be very specific about my target audience and who I'm looking to attract. So the more I'm able to do that. So let's say that I am just a fitness coach. So I would type in a, let's say, um, fitness coach for postpartum women. That is a, a very good example of a very specific long tail keyword. Okay. So postpartum trainer, Lily and June wellness, certified prenatal and postnatal fitness coach. Okay, so these are examples of long-term, long-tail keywords that are going to help me be more relevant to my audience. Now, the way and the reason that that's very important to integrate these into your keyword strategy is because I want you to think of these SEO and the keywords that you're coming up with as pools. Okay, so every keyword is essentially a pool. Now, the more searches there are for that particular keyword, the bigger the pool is and the harder it is to, you know, maybe get seen or to have people find you. It's better to be a big fish in a small pool than to be a small fish in a big pool. Do you understand what I'm saying? So for example, if I'm on the, if I go and I'm just using website designer as part of my keyword strategy, I'm not gonna be very relevant to my target audience and I'm making myself a small fish in a very big pond. It would be much more beneficial for me to get very specific with my audience so that I could be a big fish in a small pond, which is then going to have me ranking higher on Google and ultimately getting in front of my target audience online so that I am able to be up there you know, when somebody types in whatever, you know, people are searching for, whether that's location based or whether that is just a specific keyword base, I want to be in the top 10 on Google. That's my goal. So maybe I am a Wix website designer, but I'm working specifically with e-commerce stores. Or maybe I am a website designer for podcasters. Okay. So again, that's another example of how I am getting myself in front of those people, right? So if I type in website designer for podcasters, okay? Website builder for podcasts, best websites for graphic designers. So as you can see, it's going to be very beneficial for myself and also for your business when you're doing this to use the long tail keywords to get in front of the people that are looking for you and just to get a little bit more specific with what you're doing, okay? So once you have the long tail keywords defined for your business, keep in mind that you can customize the long tail keywords for different pages on your site. So maybe if you are using and going through and you're putting all of the keywords or the alt texts onto images, uh, maybe on a different page you could say, you know, my name is Hannah Clark and I'm a real estate consultant in Atlanta, Georgia, or I am a luxury real estate consultant, Atlanta, Georgia, 
or commercial luxury real estate consultant, Atlanta, Georgia. That's an example of a very specific long tail keyword that I could be using over and over and over. So when somebody's typing these things in, I'm gonna be ranking number one for my search term, okay? So what we want you to do is we want you to use a couple of long tail keywords in your Wix SEO strategy for your site and then also make sure that you are using those long tail keywords, a couple of them on the images and also putting them in the description of your site and where appropriate without, you know, keyword fluffing. Okay. All right. So hopefully this answers your question of what is a long tail keyword. So just to recap, a short tail keyword is a phrase that's three words or less and describes your business, your audience, your target audience. A long tail keyword is going to be four words words or more and is much more specific and relevant to your target audience, which is going to help you be a big fish in a small pond. Okay. All right. So if you have any questions or you have any feedback on this series, we would love to hear from you down below. Let us know what you're thinking. Again, if you're going through this and you're wondering or you're needing some help, go ahead, let us know. If you're enjoying this, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Be sure that you've clicked subscribe and the bell so that you can get notified when the next video drops in this series, because by the end of it, you should be able to have your SEO strategy for your site completely in place and your website and your SEO totally optimized. So thanks so much for watching this video and stick around because I will see you very soon in the next one.